UFC fans are going to have to wait until November for one of the biggest fights of the year. Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira is a trilogy fight six years in the making, but Adesanya thinks that his opponent is only a six on the threat meet. Is he trying to convince himself, or will this be another Izzy demolition job? Plus, what did John Jones warn Pereira against in the build-up to the fight? Stay tuned for all of that and more MMA news coming right up. First up, Adesanya calls out Kamzat Chimeyev. Chimeyev is one of the most exciting fighters in the world right now. He has a perfect 12-0 record in MMA. He was set to fight outgoing legend Nate Diaz at UFC 279 but missed weight by a massive 8 pounds. The fight community was shocked and so was the UFC. Dana White decided to reshuffle the card, pitting Chimeyev against Kevin Holland and Nate Diaz against Tony Ferguson. Chimeyev beat Holland in a dominant victory as expected, but Israel Adesanya still had some harsh words for the Swede. While Izzy gave credit to Chimeyev for his performance, he called him a for missing weight. Kamzat has made no secret of his plans to hold belts in multiple weight classes and has warned Adesanya that he will be coming for his title soon. And with Chimeyev missing his latest weigh-in, it could be sooner than expected. The Swede has already announced that he is keen to fight the winner of Adesanya and Pereira. But it's hard to imagine that if Izzy lost, he wouldn't get a rematch after five title defenses. Kamzat's best hope is that Adesanya beats his old rival Pereira so that he can challenge the undisputed king of the division since 2019. And if he really aims to win three championship belts, then it would put him on the right track. Next, an old rival has defended Adesanya. After Adesanya, Robert Whitaker is the dominant force in the middleweight division. If it weren't for Izzy, Whitaker would probably be tasting the same success that the champion is. His only two losses have come to Adesanya, which has earned a lot of respect in Whitaker's books. When journalists asked him about criticism of Adesanya's fights not being entertaining enough, he stood up for his rival. He said, I'm pretty sure he's just paid to win. Whitaker thinks that as long as he's getting the job done, it doesn't matter how exciting his fights are. Whitaker lost to Adesanya earlier this year at UFC 271 in what was one of the best middleweight championship fights in UFC history. The two went toe-to-toe -to -toe for the entire bout, but in the end, the judges unanimously handed the win to Adesanya. The goal now is to finish off the trilogy fight with Adesanya, which is what many of the fans are demanding. In fact, many thought that Whitaker did enough to clinch victory last time and are confident that in a third meeting he would finally get the better of his rival. He continues to improve and his latest win over Martin Vittori was no exception. If Whitaker can't take out Adesanya in their next fight, he'll either have to wait for the champ to retire or move divisions if he wants to hold a belt again. And Vittori still has bad blood with Adesanya. If you're a big fan of Israel Adesanya, then it's safe to say that you probably don't like Marvin Vittori. Before he lost to Whitaker in Paris, he had some big words for Adesanya, but why would he be so happy to see the champion's downfall? It all dates back to 2018 when they first fought each other at UFC 263. The Italian doesn't seem to have much respect for Adesanya, even after losing in a rematch last year, Vittori vowed to make it right between them soon. He didn't believe that Adesanya was better than him then, and he still doesn't now. Recently, he's taken the rivalry to a whole new level. Unsurprisingly, he is backing Pereira to win the title in November, but fans were shocked by some of his comments toward Adesanya. He said, I really hope he goes out in another oxygen mask. Ouch, those are some harsh words. Vittori also said that he's not excited about Adesanya's fighting style and would love to see Pereira take over as the champion in the division. But Vittori might want to focus on how he's going to make his way back to a title shot first. In an event that was headlined by Surogan and Tai Tuivasa, Vittori went up against Whitaker in a playoff that might earn one of them a trilogy with Adesanya. Unfortunately for Vittori, Whitaker was too good for him. Whitaker proved once again that out of anyone in the division, he's probably closest to Adesanya right now. That is, other than Alex Pereira, of course. Next up, why is John Jones worried about Pereira's fight preparation, and what did Adesanya's coach say about his big plans for the future? 
future, so don't go anywhere. Next, Pereira getting fight ready. Alex Pereira is following his old kickboxing rival's footsteps, or maybe it's that his rival has been running from him. The history of Alex Pereira goes back to their time kickboxing at Glory. Pereira has beaten Adesanya not once but twice over the years, and both times were with vicious knockouts. That's why many think that Izzy's time is coming to an end. Pereira recently posted a video of his son mocking Adesanya's last knockout loss to him. His son pretended to get hit and fall in the middle of the ring. But that's not all. The Brazilian had a strong prediction for the fight. He said that because Adesanya will want to attack or counterattack, the defending champion will leave himself open to one of Pereira's deadly strikes. Pereira promised that the fight wouldn't last the full five rounds, and some UFC personalities agree with him. Former light heavyweight champion Glover Teixeira has said that Adesanya stands no chance against Pereira. He predicts that Pereira is on the way up and has the confidence and the style to win. Nothing can stop him unless he has a bad day. Another figure chiming in is UFC legend John Jones. Jones has had an ongoing rivalry with Adesanya, and now he is giving advice to Adesanya's opponents. After Pereira posts an image of his body fat and muscle mass on Twitter, Jones warned his camp not to show Izzy too much. It seems like everyone is against Adesanya right now, but the champ isn't phased. When his back is up against against a wall, Israel Adesanya can put on his best performances. He thrives under the pressure, and there is no bigger pressure than a rival you've already lost to twice. But Adesanya still seems to have the same mentality. When he spoke to Combat TV, he put Pereira's threat level at a 6. Adesanya admitted that Pereira's left hook is dangerous, but thinks that is the only real weapon that his opponent holds. He said, if I can take care of that, I can take care of everything else. That might be easier said than done though. Back at Glory of Heroes 7, Adesanya was sent to the floor by Pereira's left hook and knocked out instantly. But it is true that Izzy has much more experience in the octagon. While Pereira only has seven fights in MMA, Adesanya has 24 fights, more than three times as many. Plus, he's defeated top fighters with a wide range of skill sets, from Anderson Silva to to Kevin Gastelum, to Yul Romero, and Robert Whitaker. These experiences are very valuable in MMA. If Pereira is just relying on one strike, then he could be in for a rough night. Kale Sonnen commented last year on how far Adesanya's wrestling and grappling have come since he entered the sport. Meanwhile, five out of Pereira's six wins have come via knockout in the first or second round. If Adesanya can survive an early onslaught from the Brazilian and take the fight away from pure striking, he might prove just how different MMA is from kickboxing. And now, earning some more gold. Israel Adesanya has been the champion for more than three years at this point. He ventured up into the light heavyweight division at UFC 259, but lost to Jan Blakowicz. So what shocking move is he considering now? It used to be that fighters would largely stay in their weight division in the UFC. That changed when Randy Couture in the early 2000s claiming the heavyweight and then light heavyweight titles. More than a decade later, Conor McGregor became the first to hold two belts at the same time. And if you think that Adesanya's failure in the light heavyweight division would dissuade him from jumping up again, you'd be wrong. His manager Tim Simpson has said that he's now ready to jump up to the heavyweight division now, skipping light heavyweight altogether. Simpson revealed that Adesanya took the fight with Pereira to make peace with his past, but after that he has much bigger ambitions. But at just 185 pounds, he's almost 66 pounds off the weight of the current heavyweight champ Francis Ngannou. That's a lot of pounds to pack on. Maybe he can talk to Patty Pimblett for some dieting tips. Do you think that Adesanya will hold onto his belt against Pereira, or does Pereira look too dangerous? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.